while the images of the Kedarnath Temple and Lord Shiva Idol in Rishikesh being submerged in water have dominated television screens and attention. What about the plight of lakhs of people who are living in smaller villages in this region? As the cities and towns have been the priority of the rescue efforts, these villages have been forgotten by the rest of the world. Juga Purohit gets you exclusive ground pot. The trail of destruction left behind by the monsoons in Uttarakhand have captured the nation's attention, especially when it comes to these areas of religious, tourist or commercial importance. But away from all the attention are these villages living in virtual isolation from the rest of the country. No rescue team has come to the raid. No media channel has highlighted the price so far. They live in the forgotten villages of Haridwar and all they can do is haplessly cry for help. This village, Mada Vela, that you see behind me, is completely maroon. People have to actually walk out on foot. Vehicles can barely go. And these villagers who are staying in, in this village uh, have told us that uh, as of now, they do not have any assistance that they've received from the government. It's been almost a week since their homes were ravaged by the merciless monsoons and the ensuing flood fury. In the absence of proper medical help, the villagers are forced to tend to their injured kin on their own. In the absence of power, their lives are in complete darkness, literally and figuratively. <laughs> These people told us that till now they have not found any government support in terms of relief or rehabilitation. There are a number of houses which have broken. There are a number of people uh, who have sustained injuries. There is one person who is missing. There is one person who is injured. We saw a young child which, who was being taken on a tractor by the villagers. Uh, what we also saw was a complete absence of government machinery in reaching this area. The authorities insist that all that can be done to rescue them is being done. But these scenes of horror expose their lives. As we travel into the heart of the darkness caused by this unfortunate flooding, we came across villages like Maravela, which is just one of the 40 odd villages in the relatively safe and not so severely hit district of Haridwar, where there is no electricity, there are no facilities that the government has managed to reach. People do not know when they will ever have electricity. Homes are so inundated that people are actually living on their rooftops. However, the biggest drops for them today is the fact that these pre-monsoon showers have not just wiped out their present, but also has effectively wiped out their future, their investments and their crops. With camera person Bakar Ahmed, this is Jugat Purohit reporting from the Madavela village of the Harivar district for headlines today.